I'll go back to Revelation chapter 17, talking about this mystery of Babylon the Great. And verse 12 it said, And the ten horn which thou sawest are ten kings which have received no kingdom as yet, but receive power as kings, one hour with the beasts. See, same thing you see, what you read is the false prophet, that second beast in Revelation chapter 13. This is the Antichrist. And he got the ten horn with him, What you read about in Daniel. Daniel chapter 7 and verse uh, Daniel chapter 7 and verse 7 and 8 the ten horns see it's the fourth beast see it talked about Daniel 7 and verse 7 and said uh, what, what Daniel said after this I saw in the night vision and behold a fourth beast Dreadful, terrible, and strong, exceedingly, it had great iron teeth, and devoured and break in pieces, and stamped the residue with the feet of it, and it was diverse from all the beasts that were before it, and it had ten horns, see? See? And verse 8 will tell you, he said, and I considered the horns. And behold, there came up among them another little horn. See, that's the false prophet from the Vatican that came up among them. He rules over the kings of the world. It's not this pope. See, it's the last pope that will come in during the time of those ten horns, ten kings. Now, I'm trying to get y'all to see and to understand. And said, so I considered the horn, and behold, there came up among them another little horn, before whom three, uh, before whom there were three of the first horns plucked up by the roots. Who was the first horn plucked up by the roots? See, the third beast had four heads. See, and a little horn got out from the third beast, and it got with the ten king. And he plucked those other three who he was with in the third beast. I know it's hard for y'all to understand that, but if you search the Bible and study the scripture, you can see it very clearly. For whom there were three of the first horn plucked up by the roots. And behold, and this horn were eyes like the eyes of men at a mouth speaking great things. See. Same thing we read in Revelation chapter 17 verse 12. Talk about the same horn. See, the false prophet is the Antichrist. That little horn came up among those ten. And it will give power unto them ten came. You know, there's a lot of people can't see it. You know, All right, and then verse, it said, And the ten horn, and the ten, ten horns which thou sawest, verse 12 of Revelation 17, verse 12, And the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings which have received no kingdom as yet, but received power as king, one hour with the beast, one hour with the false prophet. prophet. Because in Daniel 11, he made a league with those, those nations. A league is a group of nations. 11 and, uh, I start in 21. 11 and 21, Daniel chapter 11, verse 21. And in his estate shall stand up a vile person. See, this will be a vile person at the end time, the only time of them 10 kings. They'll come among those ten kings. It's not, we're not there yet. I'm just trying to show you all we're not there yet. We're in the first and the second beast. The lion nation with eagle wings. That's Britain and the United States. They're allied. 
and the sack on like a, to a bear. You know, that's the Russian bear. Everybody knows to know that. And then they're after the you know, I stay at home, we get broken, we get into the third beast. After they fight a ram, we get into the third beast. And the third beast could have four heads, four rulers. And the little horn will get out from and the ten horn showed up. You see the third beast could rule a while. And a lot of time the, the third beast, the ten horn will show up and the, the little horn will get out from the third beast and get with the ten king and you will give power to those ten king all right verse 21 saying and he's a, and his a state shall stand up a vile person to whom they shall not give the honor of the kingdom but he shall come in peaceably and obtain the kingdom by flatteries and with the arms of a flood shall they be overflowing from before him and shall be broken, yea, also the prince of the covenant. And verse 23 said, And after the lead made with him, he shall work deceitfully, deceitfully, for he shall come up and shall become strong with a small people, you see, your work deceitfully, you see, after the league, see a league, you look up the word league, that's a group of nations, see, that's the ten king, you got to become strong, all right, go back in Revelation, Chapter 18 and verse uh, 13 and it said, These have one mind, see they have one mind and got together and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. See, they're going to give it power and some ten horn and they're going to have one mind with the beast. And they shall give, and it said, These have one mind and shall give their power and strength unto the beast, to the false prophet. See? And because you see, they're like their current of mind, they are enemy with God. And you can go back and like, and what, I think it's in Roman. Yeah. Maybe Roman, uh, Roman chapter 8 and verse 7, he said, because 8 and 7, Roman 8 and 7 said, because the kernel mind is enmity against God, you see, see, he's the enemy against God, the kernel mind, for it is not, for it is not subject to the law of God. Neither indeed can be. See, they don't want God in their knowledge. They're not subject to the God, to the law of God. See, it's the current of mind. This is how you be. See, we be falling away. The great falling away now. They don't want to retain, retain God in their knowledge. Homosexuality, transgender, abortion, same-sex marriage, all that, adultery, fornication. Lying, stealing, everything going on now. Everything accepted. You know, filled with hatred, all that. Just the current of mind. You know, they're not subject to the law of God. They don't want God in their knowledge. See, they gotta have a form of godliness. All right. Verse 14 said, and shall make war with the, and these shall, excuse me, said, verse 14 said, these shall make war with the lamb, and the lamb shall overcome them, for he is Lord of lords and king of kings, and they that are with him are called and chosen and faithful. See, it's the saints. And verse 15 said, he said unto me, the waters which thou sawest, where the whore sitteth, are peoples and multitude and nation and tongue. See? 
The whole city around the world. The Catholic Church is around the world. Now all those nations. And verse 16 said, and all the people around the world, that's why the Bible tell y'all, they all worship the, the beast in his image. You know, like a day except the very elect. You know, just like with Shamrock and Meshach and Abednego, all the rest of the people, they bow down to the name of Nebuchadnezzar set up. Same thing could be at any time. All right. In verse 16 saying, The ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. See, that's why you read about in Revelation 18, how you got burn her with fire or destroy her, you know, that woman, the church. In verse 17 said, For God had put in their heart to fulfill his will and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast until the words of God shall be fulfilled. See, until the word of God be fulfilled. God had put it in their heart to give their kingdom to the beast, you know, like them ten horns. In verse uh, 18 said, And the woman which thou sawest is that great city which reigned over the kings of the earth. You see, she reigned all over the kings of the earth. All those kings. See, you know, see like when the Catholic Church of uh, the Pope come to the country and all that, people come from all around the world. You know, she deal with religion, deal with government, all of that. They were telling why they had war, talking about we want peace, peace, peace. They shouldn't be doing this. She ruled it over the kings of the earth. You know, and by peace, it's destroy many, like the Bible said. But a lot of people have some mystery. That's why the Bible called it mystery of Babylon, the great. It's a mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of Harlot, an abomination of the earth. It's a mystery. It's like a gospel. It's a mystery if you don't understand. If you don't search it out. Only a few people understand mystery. Yeah. But the woman is that church. You know, she ruled over the kings of the earth. That great city. To rule it over the kings of the earth. But this is what I wanted to bring to y'all today. But I'm not going. I'll just give y'all a little touch of it, but y'all can read all Revelation 17. And you can go into 18, you know, and tell you how it will get destroyed. You know. But I'm not getting into Revelation 18 next time. But thank y'all and may God bless y'all and give y'all wisdom and knowledge and understanding of this word.